To load batteries, remove the battery cover by squeezing the tabs at the right and left of the battery door. Once the battery door is open, place the batteries into the battery bay with the plus of all batteries facing up. To actuate the cutter, press either or both of the cutter buttons located on the sides of the display. To activate the backlight, press the function key and then the spacebar. To deactivate the backlight, the process is the same. Press the function key and the spacebar. The backlight automatically shuts off after 10 minutes of non-use or when the printer is powered down. And it will turn off when the printer is powered down. To load the cartridge, place the cartridge in the cartridge bay and engage the locking lever by pressing it up. To unload the cartridge, unlock the locking lever by pulling it down. Press the large gray button on the back of the printer. The cartridge will pop up. Grasp the cartridge and pull straight out. To save a file, press the menu button. Use the up or down arrows to highlight the file. Press Enter. Select Save. Pick from the 12 locations where you would like to save your file. Press Enter. Enter a file name. Press Enter. To recall a file, press the menu button. Use the up or down arrows to highlight the file. Press Enter. Select Open. Pick the location of your file. Press Enter. To delete a file, press the menu button. Use the up or down arrows to highlight File. Press Enter. Select Delete. Pick the file you want to delete. Press Enter. Use the right arrow to select Yes. Press Enter. To turn on the flashlight, press the button at the bottom left side of the accessory. The magnet allows you to work with the printer while it is adhered to any metal surface. When the printer is on a flat surface, the stand props the printer up at a 45 degree angle. The belt strap makes carrying the printer easy. The pole strap allows you to store and work the printer while it is attached to a pole.